All right, gonna show you proof that the vigilant Christian is not a saved person. He did a video where he says that the King James Only movement, he calls it a cult, and he says that we're hateful and all this stuff, and he lumps in us with Stephen Anderson. Because in, in the clip I'm gonna show you, he's very clearly attacking Stephen Anderson. I mean, it just, so clear, he just doesn't want to name Anderson. But he lumps us King James Bible, Bible believers in with satanic cult leaders like Stephen Anderson. And in, in his, you know, so-called Bible studies, he always quotes all these new versions. He's always, he, like, like he is, I mean, like Anderson, he's post-trib. Um, he has many problems. And Visual Christian, he got exposed about a year ago for basically being in all this kind of perversion and everything and, and pornography and sodomite stuff and everything. But he basically, and of course on his Faith Family channel, he has, I did a video refuting one of his stuff. Rapture 2019, I did a video refuting that. He does not believe the pre-trib rapture, he believes the post-trib heresy. And in his, yeah, you know, like I said before, in his so-called Bible studies, he quotes all these new versions. And in this video right here, uh, can homosexuals be saved and go to heaven? He basically says that King James only, the King James only movement is a cult. And he, again, he lumps us in with heretics like Stephen Anderson. And you know, if, if you're, uh, an outsider of the King James Only movement. Don't try to lump heretics like Stephen Anderson in with the rest of us. Uh, Stephen Anderson is not a King James Bible believer. Uh, I, I was duped by him for many years. He is not a King James Bible believer. He changes the word of God whenever he needs to. And that, that's been proven over and over again. There's proof of him. Uh, I mean, Brian Denlinger has got some good videos on that. Of proof of Anderson literally changing the word of God. Uh, in his sermons and in his, his videos. He changes the word of God. Anderson is not a King James Bible believer. And he, Anderson has all kinds of heresies. You know, I've done videos exposing Anderson. He's got, he's got so many problems. So don't try to lump in Anderson with, and heretics and cult leaders like Anderson and his heretical new IFB in with real King James Bible believers. But he does that in about three minutes and 50 seconds in see right here he's quoting the esv all this other stuff but about three minutes and 50 seconds in he goes on this this two minute little, little feminine rant over how king james bible believers take a stronger stance against sodomites than he does he calls us hate filled he says we're a cult and then of course again lumps us in with with a uh, satanic cult leaders like anderson and his new ifb so check out this clip now those on the other side these extremists i can already hear you in the comment section Yes, I can hear you already with your insane little pathetic lies and manipulative tactics to try and push your hateful nonsense. And let me just address it. So what they're going to go ahead and do, there's a group of very hateful preachers out there and people who inside of themselves want to look down on homosexuals, call them reprobate and hate them. They often come and they're King James only, the most of them, in these kind of little weird Baptist cults. And they come and they say, well, look, in the King James, it doesn't say homosexual. Now, let's go ahead and read that. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But ye are washed, and ye are sanctified, and ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So you see, Mario, you see, when you follow the King James only, which is the only Bible in existence that every single human being on the earth needs to follow, including you Frenchman Mario, who didn't even know English until you were in grade four. And yes, all you Chinese speaking, Italian speaking, every language in the world, you must bow to the altar of English dominance and you must study old archaic English in order to interpret the Bible correctly. Don't do the mistake of going to the actual original manuscripts of Greek and Hebrew. No, 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 no. You can't do that. You must bow to English only cult like mentality to enable hatred. No, 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 no. My little King James only possible cult like hater go sit down in the corner it's enough of your nonsense i'm going to put you in your place here son the original manuscripts are written in greek okay they're not written in old english and what you will hear is hate preachers who want to justify this type of hatred towards those and and they want to spew their disgusting hate what they're going to do is say, well, no, you can't go back to the uh, Greek because you don't know the Greek, Mario. Well, guess what, buddy? I don't know archaic old English. Do you not know that no one talks like this? Ye, 
they thou did you clue in that in order for me a frenchman who barely could comprehend the english language learning when i grew up je parlais like uh, this for a long time uh, i talked with an accent and it took me a long time to not okay so i'm not going to learn old english enough with your nonsense okay guys the actual actual word that is used in the greek which the apostles used okay they didn't use english okay was Arsenokeotes. And yes, I can't pronounce it, but I also can't pronounce 90 of the words in the archaic language of Old English that the King James Version is written in. So there you have it, just proof that the guy is not saved. I mean, he says, oh, you have to go back to the original Greek. Okay, what is the original Greek? There, there's there's many Greek texts, which which is the right one, you know? I mean, what is the original Greek? Like, like these, these proponents of the modern Catholic versions, they can never answer that question. What is the original Greek? What is it? Where, where can we find it? You know, and it's funny. He says, oh, I, I, I'm a French person. It's kind of funny because French and English have a lot in common. So I don't understand. I have a hard time understanding archaic English, but then I'm going to understand Greek. You know, I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn Greek. So I can't understand. So, so the King James is bad because I can't understand archaic English, but the Greek is good, even though I can't understand the Greek. Huh? I mean, his, his logic is pretty bad, pretty weak argument he used, but you know, just like any any of these modern version Catholic, you know, papists, they always say that we're a cult, and they lump us in with heretics like Anderson and the whole Westboro satanic cult and everything. That's what he does, just proof that this, this uh, vigilant so-called Christian is not saved. He is lost. And his video where he's crying and weeping about how he got caught, he's, he's trying to make you think, oh, I'm repentant. No, he just got caught, and that's why he's crying and weeping. And it's acting, too, by the way. But if it is real, he's only sad because he got caught. Because he admits, uh, we'll be bringing this out in a future video, but he admits that he made about half a million dollars in five months off his channel, a Vigilant Christian. Again, we're going to bring this out in a future video, but yeah, the guy's not saved. And so don't be deceived by this guy. God bless you. Goodbye.